we're going back to Reddit world. I don't really know what I'm looking for here, but I guess we're just going to go ahead and take a look at the ticket situation. Uh, look at this kid memeing, trying to attend season eight land in Dallas, canceled due to COVID and then all the problems with this one, trying to attend Dallas, joining the queue 20 minutes early, wait two plus hours for their website to work. And then, uh, there was an unexpected error. You are 2000th in the queue. Uh, I personally clicked on the link, not that I was going to go to worlds, but I saw I was like 14,000, like 14, 000, 14, 000 in the, uh, the queue. So that was just absolutely ridiculous. Hopefully Sionics gets that squared away today, actually. Um, and uh, yeah, a lot of people were pretty upset about this. How is this allowed for a company to buy half of the seats and selling some for $5,000? Seriously? Let's see what some people have to say about this. Surely this is very illegal. This is America. This is a ticket master. I assure you it's not only legal, but encouraged it is. That, that dude's right. It's literally all about the money, bro. It's all about the profit. Kind of sad. In fact, it's not kind of sad. It's very sad. Um, yeah, like five grand, six grand for a seat right there. Like, come on, bro. That's unbelievable. I mean, that's good for a psionics. They're like, of course we don't want to refund. Well, you know, presumably that's what they're thinking. But uh, they made a tweet about it, and they said they're going to fix it, which we're going to get to in a second. They said, this is like a timeline. This is working perfectly. They said, uh, oh, yeah, right here, update. Ticket purchasing has been disabled 19 hours ago. At the time of this video, this is 1042 a.m. World Championship Ticket Update. Ticket purchasing has been disabled for now as we sort out issues. We will provide additional updates as soon as possible. Thank you for your patience. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look what people say about that. Surely not doing, not anything to do with Vivid and their 10,000, oh yeah. Someone said there were prices going for 10K. Let, let's, let's take a look at that. Could you explain a bit about what you're referring to? Um, so, yeah, I guess it's just this website. Literally, this is what we were just looking at. We had seats for $10,000. Oh, my Lord. Look at that. Wait, am I insane? Why are the closer ones cheaper? Are the further ones better? Am I missing something? What? 10,540. There's no way. So they know that's ridiculous. I feel so bad for people attending this, people who made plans in advance, people who knew they were they wanted to get these tickets. Like this sucks, bro. I feel for you. Absolutely feel for you. Twenty seven thousand people were in the queue. Yeah, let, let's see how they uh, respond to this today. I'm gonna go ahead and look at the Twitter. It looks like their pinned tweet is says ticketing issue stopped sales earlier today. Issues now solved. Tickets back on sale June 5th at 10 a.m. PT. If you were able to get tickets, you retain them. Contact Dickies Arena directly if you have questions. To the comments say about this. So those of us, those of use, he probably meant us, who didn't get tickets now have worse selection because a portion of your tickets didn't go to people who got lucky. Kinda sucks, man. Hmm. A very interesting predicament we have here. And I don't know if I have the solutions. I am just a man. What do you guys think about all this? They, uh, they're they certainly covering all the CRL worlds happening this weekend, which I don't blame them. But uh, I feel like they should be, you know, getting on top of this. All right, this is the thread from 14 hours ago. Uh, we, we saw this tweet already. We also have additional checks in place so this issue doesn't occur when we re release tickets for sales again. June 5th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. So that's 1 p.m., right? 1 p.m. Eastern, I'm pretty sure. So that's going to be tomorrow at the time this video is uh, recorded. And then this is the, the tweet we literally just saw. You will retain tickets if you have them. And uh, yeah, you're going to have to wait until June 5th at 10 a.m. PT or whatever that is in your time. So if you want to get your ticket, go at that time right there. See if you can secure the bag. I hope you can. I don't know like if it's going to be that much easier. I imagine they will make it easier, but who knows? Maybe there's going to be like whatever the equivalent of scalpers is for uh, ticket people. And yeah, I, I don't really know what to say about that. But that's that's really annoying for sure. I, I feel for the people who are going to the event. Very annoying. Uh, 
but all I can say is get your ticket at that time, June 5th, 10 a.m. PT, I believe is what I said, which is 1 p.m. ET is the translation. But that's probably all I'm going to cover in this video. I just wanted to take a look at this. Um, kind of BS the whole system. Hopefully, Psionics gets it squared away, and I hope the people get their tickets for the event. I just thought that was an interesting topic for the day because I know that was a huge uh I don't know, just a, a lot of controversy under that uh, topic. So yeah, that's gonna be all for this one. Love you guys. Hopefully you get your, uh, hopefully you get everything in order for your um, adventures. And yeah, subscribe for more. Peace.